All right, Jared Lindner here. We're in uh, Upper La Crosse on the Mississippi River with Jay Kumar, the Bass Blaster. But uh, I just got this brand new frog. And I, I, I mean, everybody knows I love frog fishing, flipping, but I'll be honest with you. This here is a little Kara jackal frog. And you can tell by how, si how big it is. It's small. And when I first got it a couple weeks ago, I was like, man, that's probably not the deal, you know, because how tiny it is however since i've said that since i've thought that this place has changed my mind um first of all you know it's it's almost a half ounce so when i'm fishing in a mat like this what it does is because of the small profile and it's compact it's sitting down in that mat a little further than a normal standard frog or a bigger frog if you will because it's still the same weight but it's pushing that mat down so when a fish is under there swimming around, it can detect that silhouette and that compression that frog is making on that mat. And when he blows up on it, because of the small profile, what I've seen is they get it better because they're not blowing the mat and then the frog goes flying and you end up with air. So th that's just from what I've noticed. I've fished the past two days now, and I can honestly tell you I haven't lost one yet on this frog. I'm really curious to see what happens you know, when I get to the Delta in Clear Lake. Um, with a small com compact body, though, they have a custom-built hook. So those hooks may look small, but they're super sharp. And they got some, I, I asked them what it was, and they wouldn't really tell me what kind of hook it was, but it's super sharp, and it feels like they have some kind of coating on there. And you can see how much gap that's got when a fish compresses it. So most of the fish I've hooked have bolt hooks just drilled in their mouth. As you can see... Just talk about the Kara. Look at look how deep that fish has got it. Look at those. I mean, I can't even get the hooks out. Look at it punctured right through the other side of his mouth. Those little bitty hooks that I was afraid of. So I got no doubt I'm going to catch a eight to ten pounder on that. The other thing was I'm like, okay, it's a mat frog, whatever. They make some really cool colors, like I got a ghost bluegill and a ghost shad color. wonder how it's going to work in open water if it'll walk. And so, you know, I've been playing around with that. And the thing will walk. Just, I mean, you don't have to trim the legs. You don't have to do any of that stuff. It walks just like a dream. So out here in this open water, this morning, actually, I caught some nice fish. Just open water, just like you would have spook. But obviously, with all this grass and stuff, you throw a treble hook bait you're gonna have a problem so pretty impressed with it man i mean like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna let kumar know about when i get to clear lake i'll be there in about three weeks and hopefully i'll be sending him some pictures of some eight and nines on this after i win the costa but that's the new kara jackal frog